So if you think that you have sciatica, getting in and getting evaluated is the first, first part of it. Um, when we're looking at true sciatica versus sciatic-like symptoms, they're treated a little bit differently. They're very similar, but they're treated a little differently. So ultimately knowing what we're dealing with is the first step in this, and, and getting an evaluation is the best way to do that. If it is not true sciatica, you can have symptoms that are very similar. You can still have the pain down the back of the leg. Most of the time it will stop at the knee. Sometimes it goes all the way down because your hamstring comes and attaches right below your knee. So it can affect that musculature down into the calf as well. You know, the ways that we evaluate this, um, you know, obviously we're gonna look at your range of motion. We're gonna look at, you know, how it, how it feels. Uh, we're gonna look at what type of pain it is. We're gonna look at a bunch of different, different functional things to figure out a picture of where you're at. And ultimately that's what determines your treatment plan.